It or, was a blind date. Yeah, it was someone who watches our, a fan of our videos. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she didn't know I was on the other side. Yeah. So I decided to watch it, and they were kind of <laughs> interviewing her. Uh, to ask just what are your thoughts about David? And she goes, it was just really cool that someone like David could bring a bunch of people with nothing, just no platforms together and just make something happen. <laughs> I was like, David DM'd us on Vine. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, there was a this girl's getting interviewed and basically Basically, I, I think she misspoke. I don't think that's how. No, you... she definitely misspoke. But I'm just. But she made it sound like I pulled Zayn out of like the trash bin. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how David found him in a dumpster and then found Heath crawling under a bridge. Do you think they laughed at that part? They're like, eh, "Keep it in. It's funny." Yeah. Or do you think I'm, they didn't even realize that they? Didn't... I'm surprised they kept that in. That was it was funny. Really, it was that bad. Made me look pretty cool though. <laughs> I thought I just thought it was funny. I, I didn't take offense to it at all. I just thought it was really because really? you brought it up just now, like for the fourth time I've seen you. I, because it was funny. It was. It was a sounds funny like you have a personal day. problem. Did you tell her to say that? Was this something after we were like, yeah, yeah, say this? And you just <laughs> no, I didn't. In it. That was that was just from uh, her watching the videos. That's just the impression she got from you. <laughs> <laughs> just from <laughs> <that>, nothing. <laughs> the impression she got from Zane was, hmm, that guy has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> No. All he has is alcoholism. No, that's not what she meant. She, she just meant that we're a fun friend group. What's your all-time favorite memory of working here? Or of any of the videos? I don't know why. I feel like I always blank on, like, what we do. Yeah, it's it's tough. I, there's just, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what day it is, let alone, like, what, we, what video we posted or made, like, a week ago, you know? Like, it's so hard to pinpoint something. What's, your honest, so what's your honest opinion of this podcast? I love the podcast. I think it's fun. I, I genuinely before, uh, like when I first started working here and you and Jason were doing the podcast and stuff and like I was, I had no part of any sort of like production, anything sure. or editing or anything. And, um, you and Jason would go into a room, lock yourselves in the room and I would just sit in the living room and do my own thing. And so when the podcast would get posted and I'd be running errands the next day, like I would genuinely listen to the podcast and like, you would listen to the back podcast back home too, right? No. I didn't listen or watch to anything that you did. Oh, really? Before I moved here, yeah. Wow. Unless like somebody brought it to my attention. Natalie, though. my best friend, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Then did her because she's not a fan. Yeah. Natalie, would you rather hook up with David or Jeff? Ooh. This one's easy. <laughs> I de I'd definitely rather hook up with Jeff. A hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, if you if you gave me that. Well, no, I'd probably choose you just because you're a girl, but, <laughs> but yeah, that one's easy. Why is it? Jeff just came running into the room. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's wow. here. here you go. Make out with me. Kiss me, Jeff. Jeff, no, grab, yeah, grab yeah. a mic. Grab a mic. He's been waiting. Taylor, 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 Taylor. <laughs> Jeff is now on top Did of Did somebody me. say that Natalie wants to hook up with Jeff? <laughs> no, I gave her the option between me and you, and that one's easy. Oh, okay. Um, out of everybody and out of our friends. In the world. Besides, like, the celebrities. Actually, no. Todd's still included. I'm out of here. I'm going back to editing. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Natalie so gorgeous? Zane, stop sending in the questions. Oh, I wasn't. I was just going to answer it, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell. Have Aww. your feelings towards Natalie changed? No, not at all. <laughs> Taylor, this is for both of you. This is for the two assistants, Natalie and Taylor. What is your goal in life? And how long do you see yourself working here with me? David. Taylor says YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the scariest when someone works for you and they want to be a YouTuber because their intentions aren't the right. The right. You want to be a YouTuber, Taylor? I didn't even ask. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I would never. What are your greatest tips on being? Taylor, a YouTuber? you got to hold the mic. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. What? How long do you plan on working here? Um, what are your goals? Uh, okay. Well. I want to say that working here has made me realize that I don't know what the fuck I want to do with my life. Okay, yeah. <laughs> because I feel like there's just so much opportunity. Like you're introduced to so many different avenues of things. Like when I when I first left college, I thought like I had an idea of like what I wanted to do and what I where I wanted to go. And that, you wanted to study plants. No, I didn't want to study plants. I wanted nothing to do with fucking plants. Don't, I hate when you say that. It really is another pet peeve of mine. Um, Wait, what did you? I thought you studied plants in college. I, didn't, I was an environmental science double major. <laughs> <Okay>. Boring. <laughs> okay, sorry. 
Um, but no, I really wanted to, I wanted to be like a brand manager of a luxury brand, like a Gucci or a Louis or something and like work on their like. Wow. I could totally see you doing I, that. Yeah, me too. That is so crazy. That's, that's what I really wanted to do. And now, I mean, I still think that's really cool and I would love to do that because I think fashion is really fun, but I don't know. I don't know if that's my end all be all. So how do you, how long do you see yourself working here? Well, until the ship sinks, you know? Sure. A couple months. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I love a couple months. Yeah. I love working here and hanging out with everybody and we get to do really cool stuff that I don't know where else I would have the opportunity to do the things that we do and make the things that we make. But I don't know until I, until I, until I don't want to anymore, you know? Right on. Taylor, what about you? Not to be boring, but I would second that. Like, I think going into this when you're like in it and doing something different every day, you realize how many different skills that you're kind of getting better at that like you never would. What did you expect when you got when you when you started working here? And how has it how has how is that different? I didn't know what to expect. But I knew I had a good feeling that, like, I was going in the right direction of, like, what I was good at meeting what I was going to be doing every day. Like, I think I've always – the amount of diverse and just crazy different things that you and me both do and, I mean, that you come up with. So (laughs) I – I think that it takes like a certain person to be able to fully be able to like wrap your head around how to do it. (laughs) When you, okay, let me ask my question. When you, when you took this job, Taylor, did you think it was going to be like, uh, did you think it was going to be a job like, Hey, I'm going to do this job for like a couple months and then I'm going to find something else. Or were you like, Hey, let's see how long I can stick with this job for. This isn't a trick question. I'm just genuinely no, asking. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, and then tell me now what you think about it. When I like commit to something, it's always like full force. Like I'm never, I like, like to be in the present. So I would never like commit to something if I didn't see it long term. And I would never just be like, like I can never commit to something and then just be like, Oh, in three months, like, I'll just like keep applying and like see if something's better. Like I would like once I'm in like invested. Sure. I'm fully invested. Makes sense. How did you have any other jobs before this? Um, yes. How many jobs? I would say like three. Three. Where were this rank? Top. Number one? <laughs> oh my god, last. Number one. <laughs> oh my god, I fucking hate this place. <laughs> but I did just graduate, so it wasn't like <laughs> right. I, I'm like it's in like a you're a thirty year old person that has right. like worked a bunch of stuff. Sure. What I thought was interesting <clears throat> when we first hired Taylor when I first met Taylor um, because the, the way that we found Taylor was she helped put on your surprise birthday party. I needed extra help and a friend recommended her that she just graduated and she was looking for work and things like that. And I was like, okay, great. Like I need help. Just whoever you think is trustworthy, like send her my way. Um, and she helped me get everything done for your birthday, which was awesome. And then we, I was like, okay, let me see. Cause we needed a new assistant. Let me see like how things are going to go. Um, let's have her like be around the house for the next couple of weeks and like, and working, just, you know, trying it out. And I knew that she, that you had another job offer and I was like, oh, she's for sure going to take that job offer. Like I, I didn't even think about it. And then I remember talking to you and you're like on the fence about it and you didn't know what to do. And you were like, I think I'm going to just going to just, I'm just going to, I'm going to say no. And I was like, whoa, like she's going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> and and then you ended up sticking around. I just, I don't know. I, I think it's like interesting because it's, it's hard to see like where this is going because it's so chaotic. No, that makes sense. Even when you offered, when David offered me the <laughs> job originally, listening. I was, I was like very, I had no other options really. So I was like, okay, let's do it. But had I had other options, I don't think I would have signed up for this. Like I don't, I wouldn't have taken a job working for you. Not, not always, not always like, it was either join the military or work for David. So like, <laughs> No, that's what I mean by like the diversity. Like, I know what we're dragging this on, but I think that <laughs> we're talking too much for David. <laughs> like, I told you this when I first that one day that like I was like I'm gonna say no. Yeah. I, I love not knowing or having the opportunity to do so many different things. Kiss David's ass podcast. And 
<laughs> this isn't David. This is a, a team I know, I know, I know, I know. We've I'm all kidding. curated. But kidding. sitting in an office every day is just not for me. Period. If Period. I was, if you were to, what what Avenger would you compare me to? Out of, out, oh of my God. out of all the Avengers, so there's Hulk, there's Bruce, that's Bruce, that's Bruce Banner, there's Captain America, there's Iron Man, of course. Iron Man. You would say Iron Man, Taylor? Yeah. Thank you. The dust when everybody d- disintegrated. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you are the dust that's left. If you could choose anyone in the vlog squad 